Hello and welcome to a super quick tutorial about how to make this bullet time effect. So what you want to do is you go into your project where you have your 360 files. Then you go to one of the clips where you want to create this effect, this bullet time effect, which I showed you in the intro like that. Uh, you go here, then you add the speed ramp effect. So you just press shift B. So you have the speed ramp effect. You go to the second part of the clip. You press the arrow down, you go to custom, and then you take 1% in here. Then from here, what you want to do is you want to remove this speed transition. So you double click the transition, you pluck it out. Then what you want to do is you want to take out just one frame of this. So I'm just taking, uh, checking with uh, the arrows front and forth. So I see next frame comes in here, so I will cut here, B, cut, then the frame starts here. Just want to make sure it's the right frame, there, you can press command B to cut it. So now here you have a frozen frame, which acts as a 360 photo, right? So what you want to do is first you can, you can ramp this regular footage up to 100%. Then you can play around with this as you like. So just let's just say I want to make, uh, I don't know, some kind of move here. So I add a keyframe. And on the on the end part of the of the frame, I just do something like that. It's not a lot of time to play around with with this uh, with this single frame, but for me, it created the effect I wanted. And I searched the internet yesterday for about like three hours to find some kind of solution to, to get in some 360 photo or anything like that to create the bullet time effect, but. Uh, this morning I found out or I came on the thought to just do this trick which uh, worked out for me so uh, have a nice day